The problem is enormous. Right now, on a worldwide basis, over five billion people do not have access to simple surgical operations. If we look at the magnitude of the problem, 17 million people would be expected to die from problems that could be corrected with a surgical intervention. The Chibirwa Surgical Center in eastern Uganda is a sustainable program that we can provide affordable, safe surgery to everyone. Our program has always been around looking for ways to create not only surgical care in a region, but a sustainable program of surgical care. It is unlikely to be solved by exporting or importing surgeons into regions of need, but finding more efficient ways to use technology to share surgical knowledge. Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365 have been game changers. We've been able to start practicing telesurgery where I can invite the assistance of an expert from any part of the world. The Dynamics 365 with remote assist coupled with the HoloLens technology allows us to have surgeons operating with Uganda completely connected with surgeons here in Mount Sinai. Through this HoloLens, Dr. Marin is able to see exactly what I am seeing. He's able to have a real-time view of my surgical field 7,000 miles away. This young girl who comes in with a significant problem that isn't commonly encountered in this community is something we see here at Mount Sinai multiple times on a weekly basis. What was your plan in terms of incisions? So my initial plan was to make an elliptical incision. Sometimes it's actually helpful to do a circular incision. I'm just gonna trace out for you what I'm thinking. It was so clear now how I would have approached it would not have offered me the advantage so the ability to evolve in the technology and share our knowledge with our Ugandan partners allows the Ugandan team to evolve as well. Their nurses, their anesthesiologists, their surgeons all get confident, get capable of doing things. If we think about it in the simplest form, consultative surgical support can begin with a telephone. A simple landline telephone can communicate between one doctor and another. Cell phones lead to video conferences, lead to team-based educational programs, all the way up to the Dynamic 365 technology with HoloLens support where we have physicians in an operating room dynamically operating and sharing what they see, what they hear, and describing what they feel with a physician, a surgeon, over thousands of miles away. We can go all the way on to the end of the spectrum, which can include the use of robotically assisted surgical procedures, where a surgeon could be at a console here in New York, operating together with a Ugandan surgeon in the middle of Eastern Uganda. And there are certainly gonna be technologies that transcend our robotic knowledge that'll go beyond that to be developed in the future. I readily see how we're gonna to begin to integrate this into our residency and surgical training programs in this institution, where we can begin to advance independent surgical skills with our surgical trainees on a more rapid basis. This will form a very important part of the next generation of education of surgeons. The ability to do something that can be scaled much farther beyond an individual's technical skills and take it from one person to 10 people to 100 people to 1,000 people trained to do the things that I know how to do and I'm capable of doing is one of the most exciting things I've experienced in my professional life.